happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. And in solution, hey, in out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Totterbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of my most excellent videos. In front of us, we have the mighty Sony ICF2010. This is an air, FM, long wave, medium wave, short wave, with single sideband and synchronous detection classic portable radio. This comes donated from California from a person named Shelly S. Thank you, sir. I appreciate this radio. Uh, he owned this radio brand new in 1993, so the production date's probably around the end of 1992. These originally came out in 1984. Thank you for donating the radio. You are awesome. This is absolutely amazing. For those who don't know, this is probably one of the best shortwave radios ever made. Um, I absolutely love it. Um, it's so much fun to tune on. Uh, yeah, you'll get to see. Um, so thank you. Uh, if you want to buy one of these uh, on eBay, I was doing some searching, and they're around $200 to $350, depending on the condition, uh, repair, if it needs parts or work. Try to buy from a reputable, reputable person. Get yourself one that's maybe been recapped, you know, new capacitors, and then you'll have a nice radio for quite a long time. It's just an absolute gem. I, I love it. Uh, so let's go over dimensions. Um, we're 11 and a quarter inches in length. We're 6 and a quarter inches in height. We have a thickness of 2 inches. Pretty cool setup. So let's do a little size comparison. CC bucket. <laughs> Gotta love that. Let's see, we have a little baby shortwave radio. CC Skywave. How times change, right? <laughs> little pocket one. And then we have Iron Man. He's the man with the master plan. He can spin it like no one can. He loves Sony radios from Japan. He is Iron Man. Okay. Got a steam song out of the way. <laughs> So yeah, let's uh, let's get into it. So yeah, he um, Shelly sent me some paperwork. Let's look at that real quick. Yeah, so I had original paperwork with this. How cool is that? So he saved a lot of stuff. So first thing first, we got a, a limited warranty. I don't know what this is, but it's a uh, one year. Not bad, Sony. Good job. So we got that. What else we got? Let's see, before operating, it's in different uh, languages. Um, common code error three. Not to freak out about, usually very easily fixed. Um, there's batteries, how to put them in. You got uh, 3D cells and two double A's there. No polarity from the picture because I'm not going to open that door up <laughs> since they're the double layered. Um, there's the uh, AM antenna, it's got an AM, AM or, uh, gain, which is nice. It's got a slider, it says slide it to max, which I will. And there you go, note on display illumination. Yeah, we're not going to turn it on. It's a real dim light, and uh, maybe one day I'll modify that. A lot of people have, so that's cool. What else did I get? Oh, yeah, this is a neat thing. It has a little pop-out drawer, and I pre-recorded some videos doing some uh, AM and evening band scans on medium wave, and I commented I didn't have the stickers. Well, I do. <laughs> um, he has the original stickers that he put inside the tray, and you mark down on what's your presets. So you got 32 presets on the radio. And they're set up in uh, rows and columns, which I'll talk about. But uh, he has original sheet here. There's five of them. So that's cool. I was surprised to see that. And he's got another sheet here, which I thought was cool. This is another sticker you can put on that drawer on the other side. And it talks about the uh, error indications and what they mean. And then how to set up the program timer. Uh, skip setting. How to use a skip setting. You guys can read that. Pause and read. And then uh, to scan a broadcast band. Pretty set simple setup. Because scanning is what most people do with this. I like to manually tune, though. All right, so let's keep going. He had this Sony Aviation Guide. Pretty cool since it has the air band. Here you go, get a little bit of what this does. All right, cool. And then we had the original manual, which I won't open because yeah, I'll just go over it because there's just a lot to it. I don't want to kill you with all this printing, but uh, it's neat that he has the original manual, and I think it's dated 1984 when it came out. So there we go. All right, and then, last but not least, he has an original ad. He took this out of a catalog, I think, a Sony catalog, because on the opposite side, it has this radio, which I really want to, the SW55. But yeah, here's the original ad. It's pretty cool, out of the uh, catalog. And it talks about synchronous detection right there. What is synchronous detection? Well, there you go. If you want to know, pause and read. And it's pretty simple. It talks about how it uh, locks in. 
keeps it uh, the fending stations from bothering it. So there you are. Cool. Love that. This radio is amazing. So let's go ahead and talk about feature lists of the Sony ICF 2010. There's a ton of them, so bear with me. And then we'll turn us on. We'll get tuning this radio. It'll be great. So let's go ahead and go over features. So we turn this radio like this so we can get it in the light here. There we go. So we have on this side a spot for a strap, which I do not have, which I'm going to try to locate. Uh, it said Sony on it originally and had, uh, you know, it hooked up on here and on the other side. And then we have some jacks here, if I can get into focus. You'll see we have um, external antenna inputs. Is that coming in? Yeah, this is really hard to get on frame here because of the light. There we are. So we have AM, uh, external in antenna input. Uh, you can do long wave, medium wave, and short wave right there. Here we have a dedicated Air FM external antenna port. A switch for DX local modes. Tape recording. We have a headphone jack. We have a DC input of 4.5 volts. If you look, it has the outside sleeve is positive and the center pole is negative, so it's reversed. So keep make sure you get the right voltage and the right polarity. Main power, which is interesting, got on-off switch right there. And to show you something else he gave me, yeah, it also came with this radio. It's the original power supply. If you're curious what it looks like, it says Sony, 4.5 volts, 400 milliamp rated, so you know what to buy if you're looking. And there's the polarity, sleeve positive, center pole negative. So very important. Use the right power supply. This is a nice one. It's original. Loving it. All right, set that down. Okay, so there's a lot to go over on the front of this radio, so I'm going to kind of zoom it in. Here we go. I'll probably zoom it back out. So we have a speaker here, about four inches. We have a power switch, which is uh, off, which you can use sleep function. Hit this button, and 60 minutes, 30 minutes, 15 minutes, and then back to off. You can turn the radio on this way to the switch in the middle. Now we're on. You can see it's tuning with those LEDs. Those are awesome. We'll talk about those. And of course, you go up to the top position, which is timer mode. And then when these timers are set, uh, they'll go off. Radio will turn on. Tape deck can start recording. So that's pretty neat. Yeah, four programmable timers. That's a neat feature seen in an older radio. Just absolutely amazing. Loving that. So put that to the off position. We have the light button. Again, when the radio is on, you really, it's a real dim light. Um, I'm going to have to change it to a, a brighter LED. The sleep function you saw there, programmable timers. Over here, we have a time set button. We have a uh, battery check. So when you hit this button, it'll light up to where the battery level is. So you can see there's a little green chart here. It says battery, and it shows it's solid. I think that's from 6 on up. Yeah, it's like 6 on up there. Uh, you'll see some, yeah, of course, your LEDs. We'll talk about those in a second. You have an enter key. Uh, enter for your presets. Here we have bands keys. We have air, FM, AM. Uh, pretty simple, except when you go to AM, it takes you right to long wave. <laughs> so uh, then you have to navigate with your direct entry or another way, which I'll show you. We have a wide filter, a narrow filter. Here's your synchronous detection. We have upper side band, lower side band, CW for short wave. Up here you'll notice the clock. Uh, we have a 24-hour clock or AM, PM. I set it for AM, PM. It's currently 10:15 PM Central Standard Time near Chicago, Illinois, so you know what time it is. Here our frequency will display and what band we're on and what preset we're on on this screen. You'll see that in a moment, or you got to see that when I flipped the switch on. Uh, so over here we have a start-stop for basic scanning. Uh, so when you're in your broadcast band by these blue uh, labels down here, which we'll talk about, you can start and it'll scan, and there's different scans, and we'll talk about that too. <laughs> it gets a little complicated, but we'll talk about it. Then you got memory scan. So you have 32 presets, which is very simple. You hold this button down, and you press one of these 32 buttons. Pretty simple, right? You got row A, B, C, D, and the columns, one through eight. So what I have, whole uh, row of eight here is medium wave, B is short wave, C is FM, and D could be your air band. So that's how I have it set up, I believe, mostly. And you just hold this down and press that and done. So that's a pretty easy setup. I like that. Um, skip function. Uh, this is used to uh, skip certain uh, presets or you don't want to scan when you're doing your memory scan. And then shift. Shift is the, you know, it's with the blue box that accesses, of course, all those blue labeled things there. And you can see those are pretty basic. You have uh, long wave, medium wave, all the short wave bands. They have 120 meter all the way to 11 meters. It's pretty nice. You go right to those, directly to those broadcast bands. Uh, loving that. And you'll notice it has FM, air, long wave, medium wave. 
Um, that's for scanning purposes. So if you want to scan in those broadcast bands, hit shift, medium wave, and then start scanning. It's that simple. You'll notice it says scan one, scan two. So when you're ready to do your scanning, you can shift to scan one. When you're on scan one mode, it'll sh say scan one. And what that does is that lets you scan up to a, a station stop, and then it doesn't do anything else. Scan two goes up to the station, stops for one and a half seconds, and then continues. So it's very quick. Um, it's kind of nice if it's an active uh, band. Here you'll see it says uh, 10K, 9K, so you can switch between the two different medium wave selections, and of course 12 hour, 24 hour. And then if you look up there, it says L1, L2 scan. This is kind of a neat feature. Uh, and then the word define. So these three buttons are pretty cool. Um, you can set these two presets, say set this to seven megahertz and this to eight megahertz. And you do a define mode, and then you can have it scan between seven and eight only. So you can define a, a custom search, which is fantastic. Loving it. So I'm mean, a, a lot of detail before I turn it on. Okay, main tuning wheel. It's pretty awesome. Um, you can see it's got indent there. I love it. Smooth. Yeah, it's a really cool adjustment. You notice this manually tuned mode. You have fast, which on AM is one kilohertz, <laughs> and slow is a hundred hertz. That's nice. And you have lock. And you have your volume slider. And I talked about this, I believe, your to direct enter for your frequencies. This is very simple. Right hand side, you'll notice we got tone select. Uh, if it comes into focus, there we have high, low, and news. I tend to keep it on high. Why wow, this really doesn't come into focus here? Okay, then AM RF gain. We'll get into focus. Come on, there it is. <laughs> yeah, news, low, high. Like I said, I tend to keep it in high. Is this to max? All right. Top of the radio, we have our FM antenna, which is four foot. There it is. Back of the radio, we have a kickout stand right here. We have a world chart. There you are. Vented cabinet. Our battery compartment, which holds two AA's and three D cell batteries. And then a pull out tray, which is right here, which I'm not going to fuss with, but you pull this out, and that's where you put those stickers I showed you. So let's go ahead and turn this on, right? 12 minutes in, everybody's like, the radio isn't on yet. Well, here it goes. It's going to go on. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and do a little um, FM, uh, uh, let's see, what do I call it? Radio Totterbert. We're going to transmit some uh, royalty-free music on 92.9 megahertz. And we'll talk about FM reception when I'm done. So let's go ahead and do this. So I have an MP3 player hooked up to this, transmitting on 92.9 megahertz to this radio. So you get an idea what the speaker sounds like. So let's go ahead and turn this on. And I have a preset right here, C, I think, C, that's it, yep, C1. And you notice we're all the way up on the scale. We'll run this for a minute or two.
quick idea. I just want to do that real fast. There's a lot to cover yet. And uh, I plan on doing more uh, with this radio band scans on medium wave, band scans on short wave. Uh, so let's go ahead and talk about FM reception. It's picking up stations with the antenna down. The nation. We're the largest veteran service or. So there you go. You got some music coming in. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> it's a strong station, right? Local. It's pretty awesome there. Okay, so yeah, as you can see, uh, FM, there's our frequency as we tune. You can see how it tunes here. I think it's the same regardless if I, let's see if I do to fine. Okay, so it's tuning that fast. So let's go to fine. Yeah, it's the same on FM. So this fine and fast works on AM band only. So we'll show you that. But uh, there you go, tuning the band. It goes really quick. And of course, you can enter in your frequencies manually, which is nice. All veterans of wartime service, we've been there before. And uh, it's giving information. Uh, medium wave, 10, uh, 10 kilohertz. Scan is on number two. Uh, FM band. So pretty simple setup. Uh, so FM reception report. I like to give this because I can't really hover on music. Uh, FM, uh, let's see, is, is 60 uh, found stations. And typical analog radio, such as old school GE here is uh, like 48. Usually I give an okay to good rating, which is a two and a half star rating. Uh, this gets a three star rating. Um, so we go fair, okay, good, uh, very good, excellent. And uh, three stars because I found 60 stations. And it's FM selectivity. I gave it just an okay, almost a fair to okay. Reason being is it's not great on FM. Everybody that has this radio will probably tell you that. Uh, the FM selectivity is rather poor. Um, a lot of strong stations bleeding through other stations. And I was lucky to get those 60 stations it just took some work, but that four foot antenna really helped. Uh, but there you go. It's not a bad radio on FM, just good for strong locals. Um, if you're going to try DX FM, not, not with this radio. Use it for the AM. It's meant for AM, meant for shortwave. It's amazing. We'll get to that. So let's go ahead and uh, mess around with this. So we want to go to shortwave. So I actually have some shortwave in here. Let's see on the B. There we go. I'm going to hook up a little wire. I have a Texan wire. I don't know what I'm going to pick up. Here we go, a little wire in the window. It's on the inside, but I'm in a basement, so I'm trying to get above. So I'm just gonna pull this out and clip it on. Antenna mast. Yeah, it's pretty cool. This antenna uh, extends four foot and it actually pulls out so you can clear the cabinet and you can lay the radio flat too with the antenna coming straight up, which is a really nice setup. So we'll see if we can hear anything on shortwave. Show you how it tunes. So that's fast, one kilohertz, and slow. It's good for dialing in hands. Okay, there's a Canadian time signal. Let's get back to zero. Fairly noisy conditions the last few days, I've noticed, with shortwave in the evening. We're picking that up. So it tunes really smooth. And you can put it in upper sideband, lower sideband, maybe lower. If you're hand hunting. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna find anything. Okay, so we'll exit that mode. So let's go to some presets I have. Visit OptimaTaxRelief.com. Oops. All right, hold on. Cuban station. Cuban, 
Now, we had a solar index of 116 the other day, and I recorded a short clip, which I'll put up here. Check it out. Um, upper side band, 20 meters. It's picking up Canadian hams about 1,400 miles away. This radio is sounding fantastic. Right now, in the evening, it's not so great. Maybe I need to go outside with a, a nice external antenna. But uh, I was on the whip only, and it was amazing. I was down here during that 20 meter. So we can manually scan a little bit. Oh, here we go. Stare. Cool. Cool music. Nice. So yeah, pretty uneventful tonight. Like I said, I will definitely be looking for better stuff. Remembers your setting too for your filter. Nice. Okay, so you know, not much on the short wave, but that's just because the last few days have been. Eh, not so great, but we'll go ahead and just pull that off. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do medium wave. That's where this thing shines, too. Let's go ahead and do that. Put this in. Tuck that in there. Okay, so medium wave. During the day, it's a monster. Uh, there's a 6.5-inch ferrite antenna inside here. Absolutely pulls in the stations like you wouldn't believe. Uh, enjoyed it. This is absolutely amazing with a Turk Advantage loop attached to it. In the evening with synchronous detection, which we'll try to use tonight, um, also very cool. So let's go ahead and start at the bottom of the medium wave band. This is pretty cool. This is uh, CHLO, Brampton, Ontario, 441 miles, 250 watts. Slow. 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 So there you go. I'll go back to zero here and go to fast. So this woman talking here is WAUK, or no, sorry, CBK, Watra Saskatchewan. Which is about a thousand miles away. Awesome. Is the way to go. There are tons of options to choose from, from colors to hardware style. Iconic LED. I <laughs> love this. Ten segments. Uh, Five sixty WIND Chicago local. We'll go pretty quick, and then we'll do some final thoughts. That's cool. Country music coming in nice. Uh, CFCO 630, Chanham, Ontario, 310 miles, 6,000 watts. WSM. So WSM is Nashville, Tennessee, 434 miles. That 
the sink made a huge difference when I hit that. Oh, this is 660 WFAN, New York, New York. 750 miles. I think I gave the, uh, what that was, WFAN, New York, New York. Yeah, 750 miles, pretty nice. Six seventy the score, Chicago. Required. Well, Napa's here to help. They will not be returning in January fourth after the break ends. No staff members have tested positive so far. The school will be closed for at least the rest of the week. So Toronto Public Health can conduct testing and investigate. This is the third school in the authority to due to a COVID nineteen outbreak. Stay with six eighty minutes for more on this developing story. So I think this is CFTR, Toronto, Ontario, 460 miles. Change our culture. Ryan McCarthy says a panel of five civilians brought what he called a fresh look at the Army's operations. And uh, helped us look at a Here's lot of challenges. WLW, Cincinnati, Ohio, which is uh, mainly inter the some frequencies. To help soldiers report allegations of sexual harassment was flawed. There's Zuma Radio, CFZM, Toronto, Ontario, 460 miles. It's coming in good, and usually I have to point the radio that way, but this radio is so sensitive that I don't have to. <laughs> Love it. Exit number five. Traffic updates around the clock on 95.5 WSB. There you go. You can get away from the offending station by using sync. It's really a good uh, demo of it. So WSB Atlanta, Georgia, 630 miles. 64, low around 45. 35 degrees on Peachtree Street. I'm Alex Williams, 95.5 WSB, Atlanta's News and Talk. Here's 770 WABC in New York, New York. 750 miles. <laughs> Got WCCO, Minneapolis, Minnesota. Sync is still on. Either go to their website, that's apamedical.com, and follow the instructions, or enter on their Facebook or Instagram pages. WHAS, Louisville, Kentucky. Which ensures maximum efficiency. Bottom line, Infinity Windows are engineered to perform. And so 850 KOA Denver, Colorado. Get one window free. Call 1 800 Get Windows. From the station bringing you every Broncos game. This is Broncos Country Tonight, presented by Bet Fred Sports. Never miss a bet with Bet Fred Sports on KOA News Radio. So nice, yeah. So it's pretty much, you know, it's a quick little demo. If you want to hear more or see more, um, I mean, I can go all the way up to 1700, which is nice. Expanded band. In. And out. Don't know what they're doing. In. <laughs> What's going on there? Uh, KB, you normally KBGG at Des Moines, Iowa. Uh, 1,000 watts, a couple hundred miles away. Industry Foundation. Okay. Attention all authors, page that was weird. Okay, let's go ahead and, uh, yeah, let's see it. So here are my AM presets. Time marches on. Join the team I'd hire if... Thanks for not showing up, Dirk. Would I hear... Bent in support of Churches on the Hill. Revisionist history is what's bothering me. <laughs> <laughs> and I know... Tom's up here talking about how spaced out we are. So there you go, 1120 KMOX, St. Louis, Missouri. 
Alrighty, let's go ahead and turn this off. So the Sony ICF 2010. I wish I could have showed you a better example, the shortwave during this review video, but trust me, the shortwave is absolutely amazing. Uh, daytime, it just blew me out of those, blew me away with how smooth and easy it was to tune. Uh, again, we had rough nights here. It's December, we have cloudy nights. Um, don't know if that hurts shortwave, probably does. Uh, we're just not getting uh, much range uh, during the evening. Uh, with any of my shortwave radios so there it is if you enjoyed this video of this classic iconic 2010 give me a big like you guys are the best uh two if you like sony radios and you want to see some uh, reviews and band scans hit subscribe hit the bell icon check out the sony playlist i have quite a few sony radios and other another shortwave radio the 5900w that's another awesome radio check that out and uh yeah make sure to subscribe and three comment below what you think about the sony icf 2010. Do you own one? Do you have one now? Did you own one before? Good memories? Just let me know. I'd like to hear them. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in my next video.